What's going on guys? This is Derek at All Eyes Designs and today we're going to be doing a Twixter tutorial. So you can see I'm using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 and I'm sh I have never seen any other platform for Premiere so I'm just running the default layout. I got the screen over here, you got your preview, you got your output, your effects, you got all your effects down here, you got your bin. Okay so um, first off what we want to do is if you're opening up an Adobe Premiere project and you're going to be working along with me you want to open up a project make a new project you want to op make the sequence 720 at 60 frames a second uh, I mean you can do it at 10 at 1080 at 30 frames a second but it's better to use something at 60 frames a second because Twixter fills frames like fills the space in between the frames it creates its own frames so the more frames you have the more information it's gonna have and it's not gonna be so jittery because at 30 frames there's more space in between the time if you have three seconds that's 90 frames right and if you're running 60 frames it's gonna be 180 frames so there's so much more data there even though 720 is a little bit smaller size dimensionally there's a lot there's the same amount of equal information 720 file size at 60 frames is comparable to the same amount of data as 1080p at 30 frames but there's not a, and there's not the amount of data in the size in between the frames it's only the frame size so you want to use well it's not even really 60 it's 59.94 and it's uh, 2997 I believe for 30 frames a second so it's not true 30 frames and true 60 but you get the point okay so I have selected a clip of myself um, I run up a hill and I let's see I run up the hill and I do a backflip pretty much so we'll just watch it once so you guys can see what's going on yeah how's it going and that's my buddy filming um, so re reasons why I selected this clip as, it's, a, it's a good clip to use because there's not much information like there's not a lot of motion going on there is there's only the flip just this there's not any movement up here there's nothing else going on it's a pretty stagnant the camera isn't moving so you want to use to practice first to just to try to get it down to get a good example you want to use something that's not there's not a lot of motion the camera isn't shaky and you preferably want it at 60 frames a second and I shot this with a little Kodak Sport Pro because I have a T3i but I wouldn't want to point it directly into the sun because of overheating issues and whatever else we won't even get into that right now but however I did shoot it with a little HD camera it's pretty cool I got it for 40 bucks pawn shop simple to pick up that's something you want to use you don't really want to be running I mean you can run smaller formats like DV 720 by 480 but you just want to use a HD this is just the new thing anyway I'm I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, okay, so we'll take the clip, it's in the bin, we'll drop it into the timeline. And we'll scrub through it, and we'll scrub up to right before. Okay, so we'll just cut out the beginning, and let's see, line up, okay, land, and walk away. So we'll just, right before I walk out of frame, and that's where we'll cut it. And we'll drag this to the end, zero it out, zoom in a little bit. Now, when we're using Twixter, Twixer is going to, when you use normal slow motion in here, you go to speed and you want to go to, uh, say you want it at 40% speed. It makes it bigger. It, make, it actually lengthens the clip. Twixer does not lengthen the clip. So sometimes if you go super slow and it fills the frames, it's going to run out. It may, the, the, the Twixer clip may begin here, 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 and then it's going to cut off because it doesn't drag the clip out the exact length. It just it's very raw so we want to control Z undo that and we want to, to prevent this we want to copy this copy the clip control or depending on what a, what operating system I'm using Mac so it's a command so command C and we want to bump up against command paste 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 do a couple like six that's fine five or six is fine and hold on we want to just bump that up again so it's all snapped together and mind you this is a sequence too and you wanna if so now that you have these 
six clips up against each other. What you want to do is you want to make a new se sequence, which I already have, but I'll just show you. New sequence, same setting as before, 720, 60 frames a second. So you do OK. So this is going to be sequence four. So you have sequence two and four. So go up to two, you have your grid. Now this sequence is contained right here. So these four clips are in sequence two. So you, what you do is you go into sequence four, and you take sequence two, and you drop it in there. So now that's those six clips all squished together without seams. So it's going to keep repeating. Say so you just does yada, yada, yada. It keeps repeating over and over again. So the next step would be to go up to, well, first, you have either effects up here, and this is where you can control the effect. So you want to go over to your effects, and I already have it open, but you... I've installed my Twixter as well as a plugin for Premiere. So you go down to Vision Plugins, Twixter Pro. You want to drop that onto there, into the clip, and it will come up here, Twixter Pro. First thing, how to control the speed. You want to go to Output Control and you want to walk it, scrub through until I'm going frame by frame here and we want to right, right as I get in the air we want to start so we'll set the key there as that's where we want it to stay full speed up until that point and then we'll walk it through a couple clips you know what I apologize I'm going to remove this and I'm going to start it while I'm in the air. So then you don't get any blending issues coming out of the grass. And now we're going to walk it three frames and drop that speed down to... we'll try... 10%. Uh, if you drop it down any slower you may get some weird blending problems. So... now we want to... how much do we want to do? That's the question. We want it, I guess we'll go a decent amount, like, like right, right there. We'll just, it's just going to be a little bit because the more, the more motion this plugin has to deal with, the more warping and the more distortion you're going to get. So it's very good for like quick punches in an action scene and you want not the whole face movement of getting hit by a punch. You just have a leading up. It's just just a quick and you don't want the camera moving so we're gonna we're gonna do it there and we're gonna set the keyframe to there and then we'll uh, walk forward a couple more frames and we'll bring that up back up to hundred percent so okay so pretty much we've done what needs needs to happen here and um, yeah, we can run that for now. We'll run this. I'm going to let it render. I'm going to shut off the screen, screen recording so we're not using up a lot of RAM. And I'm going to let it render and we'll come back in a second. Alright, so the rendering has complete. And the audio is still in here. We don't really need because the audio is like, synced up. I mean, it's not synced up. So we're just going to unlink it and cut off really hearing Evan's voice. So we have just the video. And we will now watch and see how it looks. And that came out pretty good. So let me, so before everybody goes, oh, well, that's not that great. Let's see. I did it at 10%. So we're going to take the same clip, drop it in here, and compare it to normal slow motion in this program. We'll go back and we'll go here and okay. So, for whoever wants to say that Twixter isn't that good or whatever, so go in here, speed duration, we'll do 10%. That's what it was at before. We'll find the same spot that we were working on and see how it looks. Granted, not rendered. So, we will render this little section right here. Just all right, we'll render that. And we'll compare the smoothness and the speed and see how Twixter fills the frames 
rather than just slowing the frames down and we'll see and we'll, and we'll get a good comparison and that's at that's full preview quality so now let's go okay that's 10 percent over there now let's see how this looks even though i know it's ramped but i mean really you want that do we really want that, that glitchy compared to 